My name is Mike Summerby. Um, I'm an ex Manchester City player. Played for Manchester City for 10 years in a very successful era. And I'm a northern lad. I came from Preston, Lancashire. My father's a professional footballer and he went down to Cheltenham to be the manager of Cheltenham Town. Unfortunately, my father died very young. So uh, I've always got my northern blood in me. And uh, when the opportunity, I played for Swindon Town, I was transferred to Manchester City in 1965. And uh, it was like coming home, you know. I, Swindon was fantastic, but uh, Manchester is a very special place. It's very warm, very hospitable. And I came there in the 60s, which was 1965, which was a really a boom, boom time for, for discotheques and for the atmosphere of, the, of Manchester as well. Plus, uh, Manchester City was very successful. Manchester United were slightly below us at the time, but. Um, we were a very successful side. And I like, I love Manchester very much because of the friendliness and because of the hospitality of, of all the people, never mind whether the red, blue, pink or whatever you want to call it, but at the end of the day, it was fantastic. I was very fortunate to bump into one day in Manchester in St. Anne's Square in a, in a cafe there in a card, which was called the Cordoma. And um, I was having a coffee and I just happened to notice George Best was sat 10, 15 yards from me. He'd never met me, but I'd, I'd heard about him, read about him in the newspaper. He was a very famous young player coming through from Manchester United. So I ended up going over and introduced myself to George, and uh, we started a relationship there from then on. It wasn't a football relationship, it was a, it was a friendship. You know, there was never, we never spoke about football, and we got on really well together. We had a fantastic time, you know. And the people, as I say, the people were brilliant. I used to go, and I was suspended sometimes occasionally, with being sent off or something. I used to go over to United and vice versa, George, the same. And on Friday night, we used to go to Stockport County, Go-Go County night. And we used to go there and come back, and uh, that's how it was. No one bothered us. But we had some great restaurants there, great places to go, you know. In those days, it was like clubs like the Phonograph, Dino's. But as it progressed through the years, and how we come to up to date, there's some really lovely places to go. I mean, I love Manchester just by walking around. It's, the atmosphere is brilliant. And there's a place called El Rincon. It's owned by a friend of mine. And he's Spanish, and it's a Spanish restaurant. And it's uh, just off St. John Street, as you go down into a cellar-like area. It's not a place that you walk past and there's all flashing lights and everything like that. It's a place it's, it's hidden away. I, I've never known a restaurant to be hidden away and be so popular. So therefore, you, you must understand the food is brilliant. And it's just Spanish food, and it's, the food is, the hospitality is great. You walk down the stage, you walk in, there's a great atmosphere in there. A lot of uh, professional footballers go in there, people from television go in there. But it's also a place where the food is very, very special. And for a person like myself, who didn't really know that much about Spanish food then. But even now, I don't sometimes eat. eat. Uh, you know, people come over and help us, and they just talk to you and tell you exactly what food to eat and not, you know, what not to have, what will suit you, and whatever. So that is a great restaurant to go to. And there are other restaurants, you know, um, Chinese Wings, which is very popular but very nice. Even though it's a Manchester night, I suppose it makes a difference. You know, we could go in there, and uh, the food is exceptional. Once again, the people help you. And they advise you a little bit on what to eat and what it, you know, what the food, what good food. We all know Chinese food, but it's nice to be able to go in somewhere where the staff are so helpful. In the two restaurants I've spoken about, the staff is, is well, they're just very special. In El Rincon, uh, I'm not going to say his name because he'll be signing autographs now, but he's a big city supporter as well. So, uh, you know, the, the two restaurants there, you know, you've got Spanish and you've got Chinese, which is brilliant. And uh, there's a little place which is Probably, probably one of the hidden gems of Manchester. And it's, it's not a restaurant, it's a restaurant, but it's called a sweet centre. It's just off Turner Street, just near, uh, in the back, back part of, uh, near the northern quarter of Manchester. And it's called the Cabana. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic Pakistani restaurant there. And it's, you know, the food in there is brilliant. You just go in, the tables are very similar to what I'm sat at now. No tablecloths or nothing, but you go in and they've got ladles of food in there. In the dishes there, you can go in. There's a menu on the, on, 
chalk on the, on the notice board there. But you don't take, you know, you can go, I've been going in there for 40 years. I used to know their father very well. And uh, the food in there is exceptional. You know, I go in there to eat sometimes. I go in at probably half past 10 on a, a weekday morning sometimes. I walk through the kitchen and go in and have a bit of curry. I get a, a plate of rice and I have a little little part of every curry that's in the dishes. So I have what I call a big screw, I always call it. And it's a mixture of all these beautiful tasting curries, you know. And then I probably take some home with me. I have a couple of kebabs and chicken tikka, mince and peas, and things like that, which is brilliant. And that is a great place. And you've got a mixture of people. you got lawyers going in there. you get got all different types of people going there. A very big mixture of people, but it's a fantastic place to go. And that's a sweet center. So it's, you know, it's not like a restaurant. It's a place where you can go like a cafe, but we call it a sweet center. I go in there and then um, we've got one which I, I, it's on the fringe of Manchester, but I have to say this to you now, and it is a Nepalese restaurant called the Kathmandu in Northern Ireland. And the food in there is exquisite. It's cooked fresh for the vegetables are fresh. The food is lovely, the atmosphere is great. You know, and it's a, it's a very special place to go as well. I keep saying the word special because there's a lot of restaurants in Manchester, in the Manchester area. But for me, the, the ones that matter most of all, for my taste buds, for my wife's taste buds, those are the restaurants to go to there. But then, you've got to come here. I mean, the food in here is, this is a legend's now, the food in here is exceptional. The food I am very privileged to eat down in the, where the directors are. And I sometimes have to host a table for the following directors from, other, from the other football clubs. So if anybody comes to Manchester City Football Club, you're going to get the hospitality. You're going to get good food and you're going to watch some exciting football, which is most important.